Hello everyone, Pokemon Master Boo here, back for another exciting episode of Pokemon Yellow and Nuzlocke Mode. Last time, we beat Missy, getting our second badge, as well as catching ourselves Adam the Mew, our newest team member, who I have grinded up to level 20, so they can do stuff now. I also used Bubble Beam. Uh, Mew actually learns Mega Punch at level 20, so I still have the Mega Punch TM. Uh, but this time, we'll be going in here to make our way to Vermilion City and see if we can't get our third badge. I know somewhere in here there are invisible items. I don't know where, though. What if I just... It was the one square up here that I was having trouble facing. Okay. I was correct. Also, a full restore. Isn't that the one that heals all your HP and all your... and any stash problems you have? That's an unnecessarily powerful item for this early in the game. But anyways, I need you. Up front. There's a lot of grass types here, isn't there? There's a lot of grass types here, isn't there? Is this a new route? First, let's battle some trainers. There aren't many bugs out here. That's not what I'm worried about, so that doesn't do me any uh, comfort. Hello, sir. However, it does do me a comfort when fighting you. Have one of these. You fool. Absolutely not the... What level is... Uh, Surge? I actually haven't checked, because I assumed I was... Does Sandshrew have ears? Oh wait, Sandshrew always has ears. They're just round instead of pointed. Does Sandshrew have ears? No, it does... Wait, no. Does Sancho have ears? Oh, I don't know right now. Oh man, this is important. Okay, Sancho does have ears. Just as I said, it's uh, the round here instead of pointed. Uh, oh, I wanted a critical hit. Take that, you fool! I'm guessing it's, um... The Johto games that make the visual distinction that scratch is three lines, slash is two, and cut is one. Because that's definitely not a distinction here. Slash is very clearly stop that. Three lines here. What's the difference between slash and scratch visually? Interesting. Anyways, next thing I need to check, uh, is this a new route? It is, it is a new route. So I'm not gonna run into anything. Oh, hello. How are you two doing? I'm doing this out of love. Leave me alone. What are you doing out of love? Hold on, what are you doing out of love? Ah. Oh. There's the, uh, grass types I was worried about. Ha, you fool. This does nothing to me. Does Pidgeotto ever learn anything flying type, or am I just gonna be using it as a mediocre, uh, normal type for the rest of the game? Aha! You missed, you fool! Ah, we took a break, but we're back to the... 
critical hits when I don't need them. Gosh, dang it, game. No, this can't be! Got money. What do you have to say? I'm trading for my love. Don't bother me. Okay. As long as you're in agreement about this fact. You're gonna have Cubone. I'll go ahead and be safe. It is a Nuzlocke after all. You fool. Take this. Super effective. Ow. Wait. Okay. Oh. Okay. Me. I'll be safe. Me sends out a poison type against the ground type. Sandy to level 20. My textbook never. I think I skipped a dialogue chunk on accident. What do you have? I've never seen you out. Are you good? Bad catcher wants a fight. Bad catcher, there it is. Ooh. That's a whole level 20 butterfree. Oh, thank goodness. I'll take this! Ooh, nice. Gosh dang it. Uh, fortunately, I missed, and my fortunately didn't go bad. Ah, oh, thank goodness. Please. Thank goodness. <laughs> oh. I was gonna be like, fortunately, ah, oh, two, jeez, how? Mega Punch doesn't have high critical hit rate, right? Cause I know Mew has a hundred speed, which is... It's gonna be a really high critical hit rate even without the. Wow, I only have two of these, oh, that's nice. Uh, it's gonna be a really high critical hit rate even without the, um. thing. High crit chance moves, but it's, uh, still. That's still a lot. Me? Well, I'm Okay, I'll play. Uh, you sound like I asked you for a battle, but. You walked up to me. Junior trainer girl wants to play bat battle. You fool. Ow. You absolute fool. Nice. They're about to use Pigeon. Pigeon. Is there a new Fame Raider in Generation 1? I just, it just occurred to me that of the three Pidgey I caught, the one I accidentally forgot to name was the only one that lived. I think I said it just occurred to me, but I, it obviously occurred to me the last time I brought up this point. Uh, I meant to say I just remembered. Pretty glad. Yeah! Sandshrew evolve. Huh? You want to talk to me? Guys, what level does Sandshrew evolve? And will Sandy be there before we fight the gym? Poison type. Ah, Spiro. I remember when I had one of those. I actually had a flying type that could use flying moves. Good. To How dare you? Could have hit. Make it not matter. Yeah! <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, I don't like that at all. Ooh. Oh, hmm. Hmm. I do not like that one bit. Ooh. 
Oh good, so we level 16. Isn't that an early? I do not like that one bit, my friend. Ooh, I do not like that one bit, my friend. Okay. I should be more trusting of Adam. <laughs> A lot of these fully evolved Pokemon are pretty broken for our unevolved Pokemon. <laughs> oh, but then, you know, <laughs> Mew is, you know, on par with, like, Dragonite. It's, it's like Mew, Dragonite, and Mew 2 are the only things really in the range of being able to compete with it. Not really be able to compete with it, period, but you know, like, it's... It's... It's, it's not gonna be at a... stat disadvantage until... we face Mewtwo if we ever do that. Also, we're already in Vermilion City. I'm gonna heal up and go catch that new Pokemon real quick. Dupe still. Does it count as dupes if I caught it for uh helping catch me but didn't keep it? Huh. What do you know? I did not expect that to work. Anyways. We now have an Abra when we have Mew. So if Adam ever dies... Oh, hello. Yeah, maybe. Oh darn, I should've used the other TM. Oh well. Uh, I'm gonna get some items real quick. Huh. So we cannot buy purchase regular potions at this Pokemart. That's interesting. Uh, I'll get three of these. Okay. This is good news. One second. There we go. Maybe later. But here we go. To everyone's favorite. Hello, sir. SSN. Welcome to SSN. Excuse me, do you have a ticket? I <laughs> flash the SSN ticket. Everyone's favorite dialogue. Not doing dialogue, but you know. We give everyone's favorite. Adam was over there a second ago. According to everyone. How's the restless? You might be challenged by the, the more bored ones. Oh boy. You pup, how dare you barge in? You know what? Fair enough. <laughs> What's behind door number two? Wait, I would like a cherry pie, please. Ah. What's behind door number three? I was travel with Big with Wrigley Tough. Boo boo. Cruise is so elegant and cozy. Bonjour, I'm Luke Beecher. <laughs> I'll be happy to share with you anything you please. Ah, oh, the strong silent type. Interesting. 
I collect these Pokemon from all around the world. Sometimes I just have a little bit of trouble with how this little dot cutting weirdly cut up sentences work in old games in general, not just Pokemon. Oh no, I went around the world for these? Yeah, not even a single, like, cat. Oh, okay. I love Pokemon, do you? Lots of neater ends. Good taste in Pokemon, although not very many Nidorinas and Nidorinos. Especially where there's so few Nidorinos and Nidorinos. And here, since we just fought... Oh, I just put all my TMs away and I just got another one. Uh, it's especially odd uh, that there's no Nidorinos or Nidorinos, because we just fought a trainer with Eradicate and another with a... Uh... Oh, Mighty Snap. I'll save that for later. What do we do? Uh, oh yeah, we just fought a trainer with a Eradicate and a Butterfree, so it's like... I'm not entirely- uh, I'm a global agent, I'm on a trail of Team Rocket- Ah, looker, you're here. Wasted opportunity that they didn't actually switch that to be looker in. Uh, let's go Pikachu and Eevee. Although for some reason, recent Pokemon seems to want to forget looker exists. I don't know why. But that was Gen 7. Gen 7 didn't want to forget it existed. But then again, it was- Let's go Pikachu and Eevee, which was right on the tail of it, so maybe? I don't know. Anyways, I travel alone on my journeys. My Pokemon are my only friends. My, my, my friends! He murdered them! Oh, that's what level Sanshu evolves at. <laughs> that new evolved on Sand Slash! I didn't quite catch. Hold on, I'm gonna actually look in the Pokedex. And that's the point of deers here, too. Wonder why they're rounded in the sprite. That's right, the sprite came first in the picture. Never mind. <laughs> and that's the back sprite. Front. Wait, no. That one. That, one. that was a sprite, so it did come first. I'm confused. This is a room where you can, like, rest in the heal, right? I guess what that was a thing. I found a beer ball. Guys, it still works. It's generation one. Let's just continue our exploration. I totally expect you to bite me. My buddy Machoke is super strong. Enough strength to move big rocks. A map? Why is it giving us so many like crazy potions? I just put away. I just put away the full store because I like, don't need it. Hello, a foe. Wait, Sailor Pride is at stake. Your spirit sank me. What do you have to say for yourself, sir? Let's go to sailors and fighting. Do I? Yeah. It's been all water types, so I honestly forgot for a moment that Sandy evolved. Don't know any ice moves. Lord knows Game Freak wouldn't do something silly like make ice type weak to grass. You know, it's not like plants like don't do well in the cold or anything. Not like it makes sense or anything. Anyways, Game Freak hates ice type. Alright, good fight, mate. One, two, three. Fight, fight. I like the fights to kids like you. I think that's what it said. I pressed A too fast. Ah, glossed it. And to claim my prize, your loot. 
an ether. Still kind of odd that those aren't purchasable. Like I know later on level berries are the renewable source of that. Oh, say there's that Pokemon too. You don't say, but it's still odd that you can't just like purchase ethers at the store. I guess Legends Arceus lets you make them. Okay, you're not bad. You do. Oh, TM44. That's two TMs in the same place. Rest. Mm. Oh, we have plenty of potions now. Nice. What do you have to say for yourself? Hello, stranger, stop and chat! All my Pokemon are from the sea! By chat, I mean fight me. Fight me! Me. Darn, I let the one get away! Maybe you're walking the plank if you lose! Zero to your trainer. Zero to you as a trainer. Darn, beaten up by a kid. Oh, and the thing about this place is even uh, if the fights were forcing me to use a potion after every battle, which they're not quite forcing me to do, not that to do, they are also giving you more money than you get, than you spend purchasing a potion. So it's still a net gain, unlike a lot of those earlier fights where it was like, hey, we're gonna force you to use three potions and give you like 150 poker monies. Sucks to suck, my dude. What's behind floor number three? Wait, you save yourself. In all my travels, never seen any Pokemon sleep like this one. Or something like this. Hello. Hello, me. Look at how happy I am. Baby. What's behind this door? Ah, a challenge. Check out what fished what I fished up. Ooh. Larry to level 26, which means Larry's time to learn Thunderbolts. Literally over twice as strong as Thundershock. Definitely upgrade that. Now I should be able to start, like, actually one-shotting stuff. But I've been doing, like, half the time now, but I should be- as, as long as it's weak to electric, now I should be able to beat it. Now I should be able to do stuff against stuff that's not weak to electric, too. What do you have to say for yourself? Competing against these young- the young keeps me youthful! Good vibes, huh? I feel young again. Holy lord. <laughs> There's a lot of benefits going in every room in here. Oh, hello. What do you have to say for yourself, old man? Pokemon can cut down small bushes, you don't say. Oh yes, I've seen some Pokemon ferry people across the water. You don't say. Foreshadowing? Oh, you want to battle. Would you like a strong or rare Pokemon? A strong rare Pokemon. Do you want me to show you one? What do you think, my dude? Strong and rare. It's a good thing this is <laughs> Generation 2 on. <laughs> Anyways. Love I. I must salute you. I prefer strong and rare Pokemon. Ah, you get what I'm saying. <laughs> I had a feeling you'd say anything like that. I never saw you at the party. She's onto us. Take it easy. What's our item? A rare candy. Even though I tend to save them until late game, I tend to keep rare candies in my pocket because you never know when you're not going to like randomly find one. Being dad, you think the Safari bonus zone is awesome. Oh? Have you gone to the Safari Zone in Fuchsia City? 
many, many rare kinds of Pokemon. I don't think you can. At this point. Do you guys fight me? No? Okay. Maybe people get seasick. Oh. The cats look really sick and pale. Ooh, interesting. I know what that is. One second. You know, I think this area is just a bunch of random fights, so how about I just see you back at the place that I think is something when this is all done. Oh, hey there. Are you seasick? I'm not, but I'm sure someone else here is. Alright, it was only two fights, but I feel like that's all the more reason just to cut it. Wait. Can't I? Like, be rude to the owners of the ship. Okay, thank you. It, uh, you know what? Fair enough. Oh, I, I hold no qualms against you saying that. Underrated quality of life upgraded later games. It not booting you out back to the item screen every time you use an item. Anyways, there's definitely not anything going on here, and I'm not preparing for. Oh, hello. Bonjour, Lyra. I didn't know you from you knew about Kalos. Imagine seeing you here. Lyra, were you really invited? So how's your Pokedex coming along? I already caught 40 kinds, pal. Different kinds are everywhere. Crawl around in the grassy areas. Also, I'm gonna beat you up. <laughs> uh, something I don't know if I mentioned this before, but something of note, I don't think Gary is as- or not Gary. I think Gary makes a false perception of Blue. I don't think Blue is as mean to you as he- as the fandom makes him out to be. Uh, he's really just like a generic- uh, rivalry stuff. I don't, that I almost believe is like, uh, I like a rat. A dead rat. Insert meme here. Uh, like, generally he's more mean to his Pokemon. Like, well, I picked the wrong Pokemon. And even that's not very common. Uh, m most of it can c comes off more... I did not catch me sending out. Oh! Hello! <laughs> Most of it comes off more as like a playful uh, banter than anything. Uh, the, the most uh, incriminating, uh, mean sounding one being the Lavender Town one, where I think he's like, Your Pokemon are dead? Well, let me at least, uh, knock them out. Uh, hey, look, Eevee! I forgot you have an Eevee. <laughs> um, which, you know, if you've had, had a, 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 a best friend before, you, you know how sometimes it'll be like, you makes upon your friend, I can and will murder you. <laughs> so like, just just because it, without knowing the relationship and uh, the tone, it sounds bad doesn't necessarily mean that it's uh, not still playful childish banter. Oof! At least you're raising your Pokemon. Like this is like this is especially a stark contrast to Pop that Pop. But it's a stark contrast to Paul too. But it's a stark contrast to Silver, where like like he lost and he like complimented you. Like it's a it's like a bat a side handed compliment because he's Gary. But like it's like not he's blue. And then and then at the end he's like I heard there was a cut master on board, but he was just a seasick old man. But cut stuff is really useful. You should go see him. So like like that's literally like hey. Let me give you some advice. Like, that's, I'd say like half of his dialogue is actually giving you advice, which is odd for somebody who's supposedly mean to you. Like, I get, I get, I think most people read it as him talking down to you. Uh. 
Like, it definitely could be read as a being mean, but I feel like the main reason people do that is because they made him Gary mean in the anime. How you doing, sir? But anyways, uh... Captain! Ugh, I feel hideous, erp, seasick! Larry with the cat's back, from the side, which is possible. I don't know, I'm sassing that. <laughs> Ooh, thank you. I feel much better. You want to see... See my cut technique? I could show you if I wasn't ill. I know, you can have this. It teaches you Pokemon and you can see it cut anytime. Yuck, like, shouldn't have looked. <laughs> mm, you know. And with that, cut is all we need to get into Vermilion Gym, so that means next time with our newly evolved Sand Slash, we should be able to take down that gym quite nicely. Hold on, there's a long walk out of here, guys. And there's a cutscene. Here we go! Oh, that's the surfing music! I like how the water in the middle is like moving, moving. So it's like they couldn't like actually animate the boat moving through the water. The boat is just like a part of the environment, and they just like sliced out that part of the environment and slowed it to the left. <laughs> well, anyways, that'll be enough for this today's episode. Next time, I'm sure it's just important for something. We cut down this tree and go in that gym and beat up the Lightning Americans, Lieutenant Surge. What's America? I don't know. Sounds like an awful place. Well, that's for next time. Until then, thanks everyone for watching. I hope you all had a fantastic time. And I'll see you all later. Bye bye. <laughs>